Hey guys, Michael B. The Game Genie here, and today on Game & Watch with Michael B., we'll be taking a look at a great NES game that one day I'd love to review if I could ever beat it. Heavy Barrel on the NES. So today, guys, I'm going to be playing Heavy Barrel on the NES. It's a game that I have absolutely fallen in love with. I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible at run and run gun games in general. So you add run and gun to, which is a genre I'm not good at, to me doing this while trying to film the game and watch and stuff like that. And this is going to be a calamity, a disaster, I know. But I just want to show you guys Heavy Barrel. It's a game I started playing a little while ago and absolutely fell in love with. I contacted some of my friends around YouTube and I'm like, guys, have you played Heavy Barrel? And they're like, no. And I'm like, you need to play Heavy Barrel. And I sat there like a kid waiting, like waiting, like, ooh, what will happen? And then all of a sudden they wrote me back. They're like, yeah, I tried Heavy Barrel. It's awesome. It really is. So I'd love to have time to do a review of this. I probably won't be able to, so I'm glad I get to do at least a game and watch of it. For those of you who watch, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you appreciate how good Heavy Barrel is. Don't mind how terrible I'm going to be playing. Just enjoy Heavy Barrel. Here it is. All right, Heavy Barrel. Here we go. Enemies underground artillery base. You bet I will. You bet I will. Cause there is work to do. We gonna get that work. Oh my god. Well, I've missed the power up, obviously. Okay, let's grow. Grenade. Wow, oh, I am not very good at this. This game is awesome, but very hard, and I've not played it in a very long time. Oh, work to do. We're going to get that work. Oh, spreader! game just got a lot of fun. Oh, I don't know why I gave up on the spreader, but this weapon's pretty cool, too. Yeah, guys, I'd love to be able to do a review of every NES game I think is really cool, but unfortunately, it's just not time in my real life to do that. Oh my god. And this is one of the games I would absolutely love to review, but there's just not time. Ah! Are you kidding me? Alright, we'll continue. This is also a game I'd love to get good at. Right now, I'm not good at. Take that! Like, I've never been super good at the shooty type games. Let's just say they're not my forte. There's guys that can plow through a Contra. I am not one of those guys. Not at all. But that doesn't mean I don't enjoy them. I absolutely love Contra. I absolutely love Heavy Barrel. Just not very good. Oh, there we go. Take it down. Take it down. Yeah, also a rapid fire controller would have been a huge benefit to actually play with this game too, instead of just playing with the regular controller. Because that's going to get a little hard on the tum. On the tum. Weapon boys. That's what I'm talking about. Spreader. Oroko Saki, the spreader. <laughs> I got turtles on the mind. I gotta tell you, as much as everybody's ready to crap on, um, what is it, the new Turtles movie, because 
well because it's done by Michael Bay and like, oh, uh, Bebop's not right, Rocksteady's not right. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. Oh, I should have been paying attention. I'm gonna tell you this. At least we got Bebop and Rocksteady because there was a time where, uh, honestly, we didn't think that was gonna be possible. We thought it was going to be... Uh, do you remember The Secret of the Ooze? Like, we were so excited there was going to be mutants, and we got Toka and Razor. And anybody who says, well, they were pretty cool. Come on, you wanted to see Bebop and Rocksteady. I am getting my butt handed to me here. Oh, Heavy Barrel. Beauty of a game. It's funny, because uh, this is one of the games, like, I just delayed playing. And, uh, I, like, I tried it out when I first got it, but I never really put that much time into it. And then I sat down one day and I was like, I'm really going to give this a go. I've heard good things about it and fell in love with it. And I told Weekend Game Guy, my friend Chris, and I was like, you got to try Heavy Barrel. And he's like, yeah, whatever, Heavy Barrel. And then he tried it and he was like, oh my god, this game is fantastic. And I was like, right? Right? Like, you talk about running gun games, everybody talks about Contra. No one talks about Heavy Barrel. Everybody should be talking about Heavy Barrel. Because it's up there. Woo! Power up! Well, I guess it's a little bit different because it's kind of an on rail shooter. Kind of. Yeah, continue. Yeah, I'll continue. What, what are you doing, man? Pay attention to what you're doing. We got work to do. I don't understand why all the briefcases don't open, but that's fine. I mean, we got work to do. Uh, feels good to actually ah, get some time to be playing on my Nintendo. Once again, I'll be straight up and honest with you, I haven't had any time for retro gaming lately, and it's sad, like, I don't know when you do, like, it's a hard compromise at times, like, kudos to the guys who can do this full time and make a living off this, and have the time and energy to invest even when you're not at a financial capacity to do this full time, but, I mean, my wife came home from law school, so, you know, naturally, I'm not by myself anymore, I'm living with my wife again, so I just, I don't have time to do what I did. Like, I have family responsibilities. Then on top of that, I mean, I gotta work, so there's gotta be some time somewhere. So, you give, you ask yourself the question, and I'll probably do a video about this, like, wh what do I want to be? Do I want to be a gamer or a YouTuber? Can you be both? Yeah, absolutely. But what if you don't have time? What do you want to be? I love YouTube. I love making videos. I love, like, really in-depth reviews and making cool reviews and doing little skits and stuff like that. Like, I, I've always been a fan of movies and stuff all my life. It's awesome to do, and it's great. But if you don't have time, what do you do? What do you do when you live in a shoe? So, uh, when it comes right down to it, uh, I looked at all the games I had, and looked at the time I had, and I was like, you know, I should probably play some of these games, I suppose. Boss is actually really cool. Rip, rip. Nope, not today, boss. Man, oh man, how did I not know about Heavy Barrel sooner? So, anyways, I'll probably make a video video about it at some point, but as for right now, where it stands is, I just don't have as much time to make videos. And it's not. You know, anybody's fault or anything. Just is what it is, right? Ah! So guys, that was Heavy Barrel. Like I told you from the out front, I wasn't going to do very good in it. And in fact, that's one of the worst runs I think I've ever had. Like, Boo Earns, or Boo Uri, as it may be. Bad job, Mike, but you know what? It's still a great game. Look past how terrible I played, go try it for yourself, and I know you fall in love with it. And if you are a fan of Heavy Barrel, you know, feel free to jump in the comments and tell anybody else watching the video just how good it is, because I probably did a very poor job of selling it. Anyways, guys, thanks. That's another episode of Game Watch with Michael B. Who knows when I'll be back again. 
whenever the mood strikes me and I have some free time, I guess you'll expect to see me. All right, see ya.